All right, this is Day Trader Rockstar. I'm back with you for part two of the uh, watch list review for last week, which is, uh, I don't know. Um, but it was such a great, great watch list. I really wanted to go over and just actually really detailly, um, in detail go over the charts here. Um, the next stock here on the, on the watch list from last week was Diamond, uh, Diana Shipping here. And the shipping stocks were set up here. We've been following these for the last few weeks because they make a very, very nice pattern here. And this is... Uh, Again, you can tell the, the trend line here, you know, as long as you have that slanted trend line and you can start to see higher lows being put in here, there's a good chance that you're going to see a uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern, you know, if you think about it. You have the downward slant tr trend line, meaning there was a downward type of pattern happening. There was a downward push here. Uh, but then once you start to see that uh, higher higher uh, low here, that puts in the inverted in the head and shoulders pattern, but the trend line here still, you know, still is validate, valid, valid, uh, until it's until it's broken. So you get to, you get everything starting to line up here, and all you have to really do is wait for those stochastics to pull back to give you a nice divergence. That's what we talked about. That's why I like this because you're seeing a nice pullback here, gradual pullback, but we're staying up, we're staying on uh, above the recent lows, and we're actually staying running right this trend line. So this combination right here, really nice inverted head and shoulders pattern pull back uh, downward trend line of over uh, right above us and we got the pop on that one so very nice uh, setup there on uh, the exc here now this is a, a a really good chart going out for next week now this has a very tight tight little channel here the stochastics are kind of flattening out had a nice reversal candlestick on friday and you can see just the organized pullback here uh, very clean organized almost a mini channel it's forming from the recent channel line, which is a nice invert slanted inverted head and shoulders pattern, to this level, we actually pulled back to 42.75, and uh, you know that you know kind of giving me a little little uh, there's a little weakness here, but we we bounded rebounded nicely off of that 42.75, closed on the highs. Now any type of break above the 20 period moving average here, which would break us out of that uh, four day consolidation plus the 20 period and the downtrend run. Will be a nice trigger here so this will be definitely focused on uh on the 10 for a thousand watch list too we'll put this one up there uh, with some targets and stuff and the exact trigger on that one also gnk the next one again another shipper and again normally if you see a uh, a shipping stock setting up you want to check the whole sector and gnk diner shipping some other shippers out there uh eagle um um, and again, nice channel line, very easy uh, channel to see. But again, you're seeing that downward trend line in the right shoulder and the left shoulder. And this is the this is really the key here, this right shoulder over here. So we get that real squeeze here, right shoulder, right at the time of that right shoulder being put in here. Look at the stochastics up here, oversold. So we're getting squeezed up here into that uh, into that downward uh, channel line here. And of course, the consolidation add another major level of interest there the 200 period moving average and you start to get all this this whole stock starts to really coil up and get ready to bounce or actually a spring from this level so we actually got that we got that on uh thursday and friday we had a nice push off to 20. we followed through we broke out and uh, pretty much the pattern broke out um in the short term right now so it looks good it continues to look good for a further push this week gnk ibkr all right, this was a great setup. Um, just, you know, we ended up having to wait for earnings on this. I'd rather have not held this one into earnings. We ended up hold, holding it into earnings. Uh, didn't do well in earnings, but you could see the reaction of the stock here. This was a great, great uh, Friday. It was unbelievable to see the spike in the run in Interactive Brokers, and I ended up taking it off because of the run. Even though there is an upside target here above, seven, you know, around that 1790 area up around 18 which i'd like to see this go but um, the stochastics a very bullish crossover huge volume huge bar outside everything about this is bullish but uh, what was really a key here back in january the last time i came with earnings it did the same exact thing gap down reversed very strong on high volume and then it rallied for the next month so we shall see if it's going to rally for the next month i like interactive brokers i had to take it off because of the just the, the amount of uh the size of the bar on Friday, and I wanted to see if we actually pull back a little or just consolidate a little before I re-enter. 
You gotta always take profits, people. You gotta continually take profits in the market. Um, MXL, it's IPO I'm watching. Um, nothing really happening with it yet. I am looking for that uh, that break up and through $19, but we'll continue to watch that. Now to meet of the uh, watch list here, some really good s setups here. Uh, neighbors industry was a nice uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know, went out on. All right, this is this was from this is from actually Monday. This thing broke out on Monday. You see this nice again another nice setup here. Um, what I was looking at this one is that this pattern where you get a breakdown from a major thing, major re, uh, the first retracement, and then the pullback. But long as we hold off the lows. And that's what we're going to see. And then the breakthrough of that channel line. So whenever you see that pullback, that that the bounce, that first little retracement off the lows, stochastics were showing good strength there. We weren't really even pulling back hard. We were just going sideways. And then we got the breakout. And from the breakout, you can see the impressive move there. So very strong chart pattern. Something I always look for. I do have them on this week's uh, watch list, so which is going to be good. NOV. Um, again, same same type of situation. First of all, you get the overall, you find a stock that you can actually um, see the pattern in, all right? And then it's a timing issue. We're, we're in that pattern, we're going to get that major move. Well, you can see the inverted head and shoulders inside the wedge pattern here. Very easy entry, very easy t uh, trigger area here because of this off the 200, the 200 period moving average right underneath this, giving us strength, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the head. And the breakout, everything combined f to push through here, and that's a, just a great setup, and that's why uh, it hit its target and, c and continue to rock it up on that one. Uh, same thing with Schlumberger. Again, nice neckline here, a nice consolidation, holding stochastics for strong. You had, a, you know, a big gap up on that one. That was Schlumberger, easily hit its target. Uh, Synaptics here. Had a nice, very light, very strong stock here. We, earnings caused this one to pop, but other than that, there was a nice base being put in here and started to break out of this base. Um, you know, it hit the target, but I, you know, the earnings had to have a lot to do with that. UNH um, trigger by trigger 31.32 here. Now this was again five days ago when it was on the lower trend line here. I was on the lower trend line, and the 200 period moving average again a high probability area of uh, interest here set up and we got that nice bounce we got a nice bounce right off of that level what was the trigger on that 3132 all right so it, it triggered up there we went up to 32 3223 3223 the target uh was 3250 we didn't make up to the target but we actually did go up to the uh We did go up to the upper trend line here, so um, that was actually whenever you see a pattern like this start to develop, and there's a, you know, you could see the beginning of the trend line here, going through here. We pushed right up against that trend line once again on that move, then pulled right back to it. Uh, this one I got back into. It's a very strong stock. The wedge, wedge pattern still looks good. Stochastics now are over, uh, oversold here a little. So everything looks good going into uh, next week on UNH. So. That's it for the watch list review. You can see some excellent, excellent patterns, excellent triggers on these. Um, it was a great watch list last week, and uh, I think the important thing to learn from this is don't try not to um, make something. That, uh, you know, tr try to keep yourself disciplined and focused. Buy into the strict bullish uh, setups on the lower trend line. Wait for you. Wait until you have some other indicators that are. are setting up either the 200 period moving average or 20 period moving average and to get your timing down start breaking on the stocks into a two to three day patterns you know any type of consolidation will help you so um that's it i want to get another i want to get the 10 for a thousand watch list out now and i'll see you later tonight probably on the radio